just can mix it a little bit or you can use some of your Hello everyone, welcome to Zyber Organics YouTube channel. I am the founder of Zyber Organics, Tunayoni. And um, this week we are going to do something a little bit fun and creative. So we are going to do a lip balm with no butters. I want to try a lip balm without the uh, a butter, see how it's gonna work out. So, so let's start. Before we start doing anything, save the first. So what I'm going to do is I have a little mask here and I'm going to wear my gloves and I, I don't have my hair with me so instead I'm gonna wear my little um, hat, green hat. Right, so I have my gloves ready, I have my beanie in place, let's get going. First of all, what you need is a um, little like pan, okay, we're gonna fill, fill it with water. Um, this is for a double boiler style. So let's fill this with water. Again, the water level, it depends on how much like you're doing. I'm going to, today, I'm going to make around uh, 40 grams so uh, it's not much so i don't have to fill it up all the way high um, and i'm gonna use these little jars to 15 millimeter jars to fill the um, to fill the lip balm okay. so you will need two of these beakers um, the reason you need to, you need two is because you need to first melt the wax in here and you can then once it's melted then you'll need the other Beaker to blend your oils okay so today uh, we're going to use wax and the oils and I'm using chia uh, chia seed oil which is really uh, good for moisturization rosehip oil which is really good for your skin it's, it has one of those super oils it has regenerative regenerative properties for your skin we will also need calendula infused oil again it's a skin softening properties and it has the uh, botanical healing uh, properties as well so a lovely little calendula infused oil and this is infused in sunflower oil the thing you will need is an antioxidant this is, uh, vitamin e is very in crucial ingredient in terms of there is an antioxidant and it will prevent your oils go going from rancid so you will definitely need this to have more shelf life of your oils and today's flavor is basically peppermint so we're gonna use this lovely uh, peppermint menta oil from maker's ingredients okay we'll need a uh, jojoba oil jojoba oil is basically a liquid wax okay so we need one of these and finally for our wax we're gonna use a vegan wax called candelilla wax um, Candela wax is very is sort of similar to beeswax, but it's made from this plant called candelilla, and it's, um, this plant grows in, I think, around Mexico, California, in that region. And so now our um, water is very warm. You can see these steams coming up. So let's check the temperature. Um, it should be around 80 degrees. Yeah, so it's just about 90 degrees now, so it's perfect. Okay, let's put our mask on. Uh, let's start weighing our wax first. Okay, perfect. Just on this battery. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to put this in the mouth. The reason I'm not adding the oils is because these are oils that can be a little bit heat sensitive. You definitely don't want to add uh, vitamin E, especially in very, very high temperatures. So uh, this, the main purpose of this is to keep the is to melt the beeswax okay so let's while that's melting uh, while that's melting let's put our uh, oil together okay so we have the current oil so let's get some little i'm going to use my pipette to measure it specifically because i don't need so much okay it's okay you can use alternatives like sweet almond or if you don't have jojoba you can use maybe an apricot kernel oil or uh, you can even use olive oil you know or sunflower oil it depends what you have so you don't have to have you don't have to have these oils organic oil to be added like a little bit of that as well I'm not using much on this formulation because if you use too much, it's, it's gonna make the like the oils really, really red. What you want is give that little bit of uh, amberish color to give that gorgeous, you know, goldenish color. Okay, that's enough. 
pills together and all we do is just you can mix it a little bit or you can use some of your you can mix them like this you can see the color is changing really nice to a nice reddish color you can see how powerful those hip oil is it just that uh, if i even put like something like 1.5 grams and you can see how make the coloring over the reddish get that really nice amberish color so that's ready uh our wax is ready now the trick with the lip balm if i put this straight into the lip balm it will solidify why because this is very cold and this is very hot so what i suggest is you warm up put your oils also in the pan warm up nicely okay so i'll show you right so as you can see the wax is melted okay and you have the oils here warming up now you don't want to keep the oil too hot so we're gonna check uh the temperatures okay this must be around 95 degrees this one okay so we're just gonna make this enough so 60 70 degrees that's enough okay so we now this should be okay to mix so slowly we add the wax As you can see, there's still a little bit of, you can see that. So to eliminate that, we're going to use, obviously, we're going to stir it just to give that so that it doesn't, yep, you can see, yep, they're all clear. You don't see any wax in there, so we're good to go. Okay, so we've got our nice and melted lip balm almost ready. So now we're going to add our uh peppermint oil and vitamin e well like almost one percent of a vitamin e okay and your lovely essential mint essential oil my because of my hands are greasy i have to be a little careful things are not slipping you know so we don't need much just a little bit of tip Okay, excellent. So we've got now this is almost ready. That's just a little bit of blending before wax gets solidified. So let's do the last bit, which is basically filling it up nicely. Uh, so we're gonna put 20 grams here. Yeah. You can see it's already started to solidify because the, the wax is cooling. You can see the trace marks. Okay, so let's put that away. Okay, so we have these lovely uh, golden color lip balms. So we're gonna let these cool down and I'll come back to you once they're more solidified. Right, after 20 minutes, uh, our lip balms are cooled down. So let's check on them. Um, the texture, as you can see, is quite solidified. As you can see, the texture is very solid. Next thing is to get them labeled. So let's do the labeling. Our little Zyber Organics Peppermint Lip Balm. And the reason they're orange is because of that nice umber color that rose hip organic oil uh, gave so it that's why it looks like a beeswax, but it's actually it's not it is a The ambitions comes from the um, jojoba oil and organic rose hip oil um, And then we can do a little bit of test as well. So see how it goes Let's Get a little bit of nice gel so a lot of the thing you can see A little bit, much, a little bit of your lips mm, I can feel the like the melt the um, the mint you know i can really even taste it a little bit but you don't want to eat it you know <laughs> um as you can see the texture is very balmy you know it's not liquidy you would think without the butter this is going to be very hard but actually you don't if you put the, because i'm working with candle oil wax which can get very very hard instead of doing that i just put a little bit amount half the amount of the beeswax recommend it and then you just put a little bit of that and then it's not hard at all it looks very very smooth and then very very silky you know as you can see and smooth on your lips anyway hope you enjoyed this uh lip balm tutorial and um i will see you next time 
and check out our website for uh, all other products and um, until then take care have a good weekend bye <music>